Could you tell me a little bit about what structural engineering actually is? Well, if, if you think about civil engineering as a, it's basically a very large subject area which involves the design of everything from harbours, highways, bridges, geotechnical engineering which is soils, and one aspect of that is structural engineering, and structural engineering is what I specialised in when I graduated, and that is designing buildings basically and bridges. So a structural engineer is responsible to make sure that a building stands up and is safely can carry all the loads that are applied to it with you know, any kind of collapse situation. So the loads that would be applied typically would be wind loading, snow loading and the weight of people and the actual self weight of the structure. So the engineer calculates those loads and makes sure that the columns and beams are sized to carry those loads. What skills and qualities do you find that you need in engineering and what skills would you say somebody would require to become an engineer? Um, well, if you're at school and you enjoy maths and physics and solving problems and you want to do a degree that's going to give you a really broad education and teach you about lots of different subjects, then engineering is a very good career path to follow. I mean, for instance, um, in my degree, I, just didn't, I didn't just study maths and physics and structural engineering, I did geology, construction management, project management, accountancy. Um, so it's the skills that you tend to have are numeracy skills, but you also need nowadays good communication skills because as an engineer you're having to talk to clients all the time about your projects and you need to be able to work in a team and it's good fun working as part of a team as well. Do you think engineers nowadays are more environmentally aware? I've noticed a change in engineering in terms of uh, engineers' awareness to green issues or environmental issues, particularly I'd say in the last six years, probably since the year 2000. And nowadays, if you're designing a building or, or looking at any kind of master plan of say a city, you're always trying to look at ways to try and minimise the environmental damage that that's going to do. And that can be simple things like trying maybe to utilise if you're utilising timber, use it from a sustainably managed forest so that if the trees are cut down, they're, they're replanted. It could mean trying to only choose materials from maybe within a 50 mile radius of your site rather than importing from you know France, Germany, South America. And, and basically clients are nowadays asking architects and engineers to think about where all the materials um, are coming from, just to make everything a wee bit more environmentally aware, because we're all trying to stop carbon dioxide emissions um, from pollution and from maybe production of things like cement to try and obviously stop global warming. Thank you very much.